Bootstrap is one of the most popular and most widely used framework in the web applications. In this video, let's understand how to install the Bootstrap in Angular application that is the bookstore application and how to design few pages using the Bootstrap components. If you do not know anything about the Bootstrap, then first let's search about the Bootstrap. So here in the new tab, I'm searching for Bootstrap and here is the website getbootstrap.com okay so this is the website for the bootstrap and this bootstrap is basically a kind of wrapper for the css and some js libraries that give the awesome experience on your web applications so here let's search for examples and you can notice there are so many examples available for us if i click on this header you can see there are so many headers that we can use in our application here you can see we are having this particular color then again everything is working fine in this particular navigation and this is not the only example that you can use there are so many other things like we have this particular center page we can use this one also and these features so so many examples are there basically in order to use all these examples we have to install the bootstrap in our application and there are so many ways to use the bootstrap in your application so first let's click on this get started and remember one more point this bootstrap is not only specific to the angular you can use this bootstrap in any web application either it is java php the dotnet mvc plain javascript in all the web applications you can use this bootstrap and you will get a beautiful and responsive design so here you can notice that first is this cdn page let's copy this particular cdn path go back to our application and this time i have to navigate to the index.html and here in the head tag let's paste this particular cdn url it is done now we are using the bootstrap in our application automatically you can see that the font of all these text has been updated now let's assume that i want to use one of the navigation bar here in the angular application and let's start with the simple one that is this second one so right click on this one and go to the inspect let's put it in the bottom side so we have this particular container and in this container we are having this header okay so right click on this one and use edit as html copy it go back to your application and here this time let's open this app then the app.component.html and at the top side let's paste that entire code just save the changes let's see what we got on the browser and here you can see that we are getting the navigation bar at the top side because the background color of our application is white that is why there is no change now let's try the dark theme here I'm writing BG light. These are some classes from the bootstrap and automatically you can see that the color of this navigation has been updated. Let's make it dark. This time you can see that we are having a proper navigation bar over here. But if you have noticed that there is some space in the left and right side of this particular navigation bar, we can fix that by using a class that is container fluid. Just save the changes and this time you can see we are having a full width menu bar at this place. If you do not want to use this dark background then there are so many classes that you can use to design your page. So let's say here I am writing shadow and this time you can see we are having a shadow line at the bottom side. So this is how basically you can design your page by using the bootstrap. Now this was the first way and we were using the CDN. Now let's understand how can we install the bootstrap and how to use it in this application and this time let's remove this cdn from this index page so let's comment it and let's open one more powershell window and here i have to write a command npm install bootstrap just hit the enter button Now let's see what are the changes in this application. So for that I can click on this source control tab and here you can see there are so many changes in all these files. So first we have a change in this package.json and here you can see 
the reference of the bootstrap has been added in this application and the version is 5.1.0 then if i go to the package log then you can see the details about the bootstrap have been added then we have this index.html and these changes are made by us because we have added this cdn and again in this app component file we have added this navigation bar the main change is in this package.json file we are having the bootstrap version at this place now let's go to the node modules and here you can see that we have and here you can see we are having one more folder with the name bootstrap if i open this dist folder then the css at this place you can see we are having the entire css about the bootstrap either you can use the specific file in your application or you can use this main file that is the bootstrap.css now we have installed the bootstrap in our application now it is time to use it so for that there are couple of more ways so in the first approach we can go to the source folder and then use this style.scss and here we can import that css file to import some other file we have to use this at the rate and then the import and we have to provide a url at this place okay so here we are inside this node modules then we have the bootstrap then this dist css and then the bootstrap main css which is the bootstrap dot css this one just save the changes and go back to the browser still you can see that everything is working fine we have a proper navigation bar this is how you can include the bootstrap in your application there is one more way if you do not want to import the bootstrap file over here then you can also make these changes in the angular.json file in the angular.json file you can see we are inside this projects object and then we have this one single bookstore application then expand this one let's scroll down a little bit at this place you can see we are defining all our styles so here i can define the path for the bootstrap file let's copy this particular path and let's basically comment this entire line save the changes if this time you will see on the browser then it is not working properly now let's import the bootstrap in the angular.json file and here you can see that basically this styles is a type of array so here i can import n number of style files and over here let's put a comma and paste this url and this time because we are already one above directory so i do not have to use these dot dot and this slash save the changes and run this application just go back to the browser and here you can see that the navigation bar is working properly these are some ways to use the bootstrap in your angular application